Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey and as you can probably tell by the title of this video, I am going to be doing a week of crochet and it actually is Monday as I'm starting this. So I'm excited to kind of take you along this week as I try to make as many items as I can at this week. My next market is in two weeks. I haven't signed up for it, but it's one that I'm pretty sure I'm going to do. And so I have a lot of things that I would like to make slash need to make. I have a whole list of everything that I would like to make for this market. I also have had a couple of items. I have made about 10 octopus for my sister's store and they already sold out, which is awesome. And so she wants me to make some more. So I'm going to make more and then I'm also going to make some whales. I actually haven't ever made whales before. So I found this free pattern on Pinterest and so I'm going to try it out. And so I'm excited for that. So yeah, I have some dinner going. It's 4.30 on a Monday and I had family in town this past week and it was so wonderful and so fun. And then this evening I'm going to crochet and I'm so excited. Happy Tuesday, everyone. My daughter is down for her nap of the day so that means it's time for me to get out some yarn and crochet you can kind of see it all behind me here so last night I started making some whales I made a couple this morning and then I'm going to make a couple more while she's sleeping it tends to take me it seems like about 30 minutes for a whale maybe a little bit faster but just about like 20 30 minutes for a whale so these are the whales I made four last no I did it <laughs> I made two last night too this morning. So this is kind of what the whale looks like. This is a free pattern I found on Pinterest and the pattern is one that they use, I think cotton yarn, like it's a really tiny whale. So I followed the pattern exactly. I just used different yarn and a five millimeter hook. So yeah, I made two of these last night. I made two this morning and then I'm going to make hopefully two. I probably have about an hour before she wakes up. So that should give me plenty of time to knock out two whales and I just think they're they're so cute so I am using the loops and threads uh what is this sweet snuggles light so I've been using this blue color I think I'm going to make one more whale out of this blue color and then make five total out of one of these colors I can't decide which one that looks more like a whale I don't know I, I like them both maybe I'll do a couple out of each color um, and then I'm also saving some blue for, I want to do little stingrays. I also did a big giant stingray and I want to do a couple more like those big giant stingrays and then some small ones as well. I've been applying to so many markets and like for vendors and everything like that. And I'm not hearing back from anyone. A lot of times one, I know the season is coming to an end. We only have like the month of April just because of, you know, I live in Arizona. And so when you know, when summer hits, it gets very hot. And so there are some indoor markets that I have been keeping an eye out. I'm just going to kind of gauge if that's the vibe that I want to do. I might try a couple, see if I like that. And then, yeah, there probably is maybe four or five more outdoor markets that I could potentially do. So there are two for sure in April that I am going to sign up to do. And then I just heard back today from one that um, she said it's actually a retirement community. So she didn't think my items would really sell there. But if I wanted to, I for sure could. So then I emailed back and asked if there was another one that she knew of. So we'll see if she emails it back. But other than that, I have a market in a little less than two weeks, like a week and a half. So we'll see if I do a market in between now and then. Otherwise, I'm just kind of prepping and just getting a whole bunch of items made. Yeah, that's kind of the update for, for that. But I'm just having fun. I am just trying to narrow down the amount of stuff I make for markets. Not the amount, but what I am making for markets and kind of what is selling for me and things like that. So I think whales would sell. Um, my sister has a shop down in Florida. And so she said that I should send her some whales um, to sell there. So I'm just going to crank out a whole bunch and just have fun. And hopefully this week I will finish up the whales. I want to make some turtles and then maybe make another big stingray. Maybe that's kind of my week goal, but we'll kind of, we'll kind of see. I want to get 10 whales done. So we have four. I want to do six more that I bet I could finish up tonight. Maybe, maybe by tomorrow morning and then kind of crank out some turtles and the big stingray and maybe a small stingray, maybe some more chickens. I've got quite a few chickens, but I, I want to do some more in different colors. And then on this past Saturday, I went out to Michael's. They were having their 30% off sale. So I grabbed a whole bunch of yarn. So I'll insert a video um, of me kind of 
showing the yarn that I got. So the yarn that I got is for turtles, whales, and I found this really cute cow pattern for a Kindle cover. And Michael's didn't have a brown, so I might go to Joanne's to get a brown. But I want to make this cow Kindle cover. It's so cute. So I'm going to make that. Maybe we'll make a few of those. I don't know if I would sell them or just make them for myself, but I just think that they're really cute. So that's another kind of plan. I did also get a pattern for a Triceratops. And I've heard mixed things about those selling at markets, like some times they do sell sometimes they don't i don't know if that's something that i want to invest my time in but the pattern is really cute so maybe at some point i'll make a couple just for fun and not just to make a whole bunch for the market but we'll see about that but for right now i'm going to go and try to knock out two whales before ava wakes up and then tonight i'm going to try to finish up the whales i want to have 10 total before i move on to the next project uh, let's go ahead and get crocheting. I was putting the whales uh, in a container and I thought I'd go ahead and take out a couple things just to show you what I've been working on. So this is the stingray that I was talking about. So I just used Bernat baby blanket yarn and I probably overstuffed it. The pattern said to not overstuff, but I think I did because it's a little bit more squishy, but I think it's so cute. So I wanted to do more of different colors. And I've also been making a ton of these chunky mushroom boys. So I don't know if they're going to sell, but I thought I'd make a ton of them and I'm going to make a lot more of these as well. But I just kind of want to show you what I've been working on since I kind of, you know, was putting stuff away and I thought I'd go ahead and just show you. So I'm going to go put these back and then I'm going to crochet some whales. pattern is the no so whale by stitch by Faye. so that's the pattern and i just am using a different yarn in different hook size and it's working out perfect so that is the pattern that i've been using Okay, so I just finished the whale and this one is in kind of the baby blue color and actually I love this color. I was debating between this one and the more kind of periwinkle gray kind of color. I am glad that I picked this color. This one actually ended up being so, so cute and this one actually ended up taking me just about 20 minutes and it's perfect timing. Ava is waking up from her nap. 
I need to go get some lunch ready. I feel like you can't like see me. So I need to go get some lunch ready. We're just going to have leftovers. So it'll be really easy, but I was able to get two whales made while she was taking a nap. Let me know what color do you like better? I will be doing some crocheting this evening once Ava goes down for bed tonight. So I want to try to get four more whales done tonight. <laughs> it's my lofty goal. And then maybe even a turtle. It depends on how tired I am if I want to stay up late or go to bed early. But I definitely want to try to crank out a whole ton of projects and items and everything so okay time for lunch okay so it is later in the day still tuesday and i had ava down for a little bit of some resting time so i actually was able to do a whale i've already put it away so i don't have it to show you earlier i was trying to get out the door and we had already left packed up i was going to go get some coffee and go for a walk and play at the park and ava was just getting really sleepy and tired and she just needs to catch up on some sleep so we turned around, Yay! came back home. So we turned around, came back home. I put her down in bed. She did not nap. I didn't think she would. She just, you know, does one nap. I still thought maybe she could have some quiet time. So I put some books and stuff in her bed. And so she was able to play in there for a while. And I was able to make a whole whale. And because I knew she wasn't going to sleep, I decided to not try to take a nap, even though I was so tired. The house is kind of a mess still. I still need to kind of like get things done but we're gonna go to the library I think so I just wanted to do a little bit of a check-in we're gonna go to the library I'm going to try to clean up the house everything that needs to happen and then this evening I'll make hopefully a couple more whales and then maybe a turtle or something like that but we'll see but anyways right now we're gonna go to the library okay so it's now Wednesday Wednesday around 10 30 in the morning I just got out of the shower and I just cannot be bothered putting on makeup for today so this is, this is what today is going to look like. This is Wednesday for you. I just put Ava down for her nap, so that means I am going to sit down and crochet. And I signed up for a market on Saturday. It's this last minute market, and I had been applying to so many, and they're the type that like, like we'll get back to you within 14 days kind of thing, and I'm like, I'm not gonna hear back from them by Saturday. And then there's this one that I just saw that is in downtown. It's like a sidewalk market and super easy to apply and get in. So I'm going to do that. I did go ahead and sign up for it and I purchased my spot. And it's like a table only. Like you don't do like a canopy or tent or anything. The only thing is they had one spot available left for an artist. And because they had like categories like candle making, artist, um, clothing jewelry stuff like that and so the only spot available left was one and it was for an artist or was, the category was art i'm hoping that, that it's okay i consider my work art honestly like you know i am making something with my hands it's not painting it's not canvas art and i think that's kind of what they're looking for so i'm hoping that that it's okay and the next one if this works out well then I will sign up. Hopefully, I think they have a miscellaneous category, so I think that would be what I would sign up for next time. So anyways, that is on Saturday. It's from 9 to 3, so it's going to be kind of an all-day thing, and I'm excited. So that means I've got a lot to make between now and Saturday. So this morning, I made a whale. I ended up sleeping in this morning. I got up just like 30 minutes before Ava woke up, so I was able to get one whale done. So I did a whale, and I did three chicken bodies and I love this this is like the tweed this is um burnout blanket and the color tweed I think that's really fun so I have three bodies completed I'm only going to do five total of these and then move on to the next one so I'm working on the next one here so I'm going to try to get all five of these completed while she is taking her nap and then I'm also debating I don't know if I actually ever showed you did I show you yesterday the silly goose I think I did so I have one of those made and they really only take about an hour but for some reason it's kind of like an annoying hour like they're not the funnest to me so I'm trying to decide if that's something that I want to make or to see if someone is wanting to buy them and I want to do this for fun like this is for fun this is something that I am enjoying doing and if I make money like that's awesome and I, you know, because my time is limited since I am a mom, I, the time that I do have, I want to make sure it's something that I am enjoying doing and something that will sell. So I want to make sure that I am spending my time doing stuff that I want to do. So yeah, I don't know if the Silly Goose is something that I want to make, but they are really fun. Like once completed, they're really cute. So I don't know if that's something that I'm going to do. Um, I definitely want to get some turtles made. I enjoy making those turtles and turtles did really well for me last time. And so based off of the pictures of their social media, there isn't another crochet artist there. At least like there wasn't one there last week. So 
um i am curious if like i'll be the only one this week i don't know but i mean either way like it's it's okay either way i think they only accept like 23 vendors and it's just like on the sidewalk in downtown so i'm really curious to see if it's something that i will want to do in the future and like how well things sell like if you know this is the right audience for my plushies i don't know i mean time will tell but yeah so i only have a couple of days so this video started off as like a crochet week you know type of video what i crochet in a week and now it's kind of turning into like a market prep which is totally fine too like i'm excited i wanted to do another market soon sooner rather than later so i'm excited to uh see how this one goes I don't know so i'll definitely take you along i'm not going to do a full on market day video that market day will be in this video as well so i'm just going to kind of still take you along with me this week and then kind of talk about what happened at the market maybe i'll do some videos we'll just kind of see how that goes or like take some video clips of the day the market day um but i'll definitely do a recap and kind of let you know and then I also want to do, I think on Friday, I'll probably, probably try to do like an inventory, like kind of get everything out, see what I have, calculate it, see how much money or like the cost of inventory, that sort of thing. Either way, it is time for me to hunker down and work on some chickens. Hope that I can get all five of these done and completed and then maybe even something else while she is napping. So I will definitely update you at some point yeah i'm really excited for this weekend i have no idea what to expect i'm hoping that it's okay that i signed up as an art artist that i have art because it's not technically hopefully they're okay with that and that they're more kind about it so i'll have to let you know how it goes but i am really excited okay let me go crochet all right it doesn't look like much time has passed but it has been a little bit so i have completed one two three <laughs> four and five chickens <laughs> so i finished up these five chickens and ava is actually waking up from her nap which is interesting she's only been sleeping an hour so i'm curious why she's up earlier but yeah we're trying to get her back on her schedule and so it usually just takes a couple of days for her to get back on her schedule so I'll probably try to actually put her down later this afternoon for a nap. I tried that yesterday. She didn't sleep. But maybe she'll have some sort of resting time. But all that to say, I'm going to go get her. And I'm glad that I was able to finish up all five of these chickens. So I can add that to my market stash. And then now I have to decide what I want to make next. I decided, going back to the Silly Goose, I decided to just bring the one that I made see if it even sells see if people are even interested in it instead of trying to make a whole bunch because even five in my mind just overwhelms me where i'm like i just don't want to make those because it's not a fun project to make and i'd much rather make turtles and chickens and whales and i want to make a couple of big stingrays so i decided to kind of focus my attention and time making that stuff so that was my kind of thought process while i was here finishing up these chickens thinking about the silly goose and it's so cute i love it it just might not be um, a market type of project for me at least again it only takes an hour to make but um, it's not something that i want to spend time doing when i'm market prepping so all that to say i need to go get ava and we're just going to enjoy this afternoon maybe today we'll end up doing our coffee walk park play date type thing that we were trying to do yesterday so Maybe we'll end up doing that today. Maybe even today I'll go through my inventory or maybe tomorrow or Friday. I don't know. That is the update for now. So it is now Thursday morning and it's 7.47 and I realized I have a doctor's appointment that we have to leave for in 10 minutes. I thought it was tomorrow, but it's today and I'm so glad that I reread the text. Like they sent me a text reminder and it was for today and I was like, oh no. So I kind of rushed to get ready and get Ava ready and so I need to get her like some toys and snacks and then we're going to head out the door but anyways last night last night ended up crocheting just one chunky mushroom boy and one stingray and that's it i was so tired i went to bed and then this morning i tried to get up earlier before ava and she also decided to wake up early so i started working on a turtle and i'm way more than halfway through i've got maybe like 20 minutes of work left if that so i will finish that up at some point um probably when she takes her nap i can finish that up but i decided the stingrays are not market prep friendly for me at least and I don't even know if they're going to sell so I have two of them and so I don't know if that's something that I want to make. I mean I'll see if they sell and I only have two like I said but they just take way too long 
for me to do and they're just not the funnest it's really easy it's very repetitive every row is the same basically so it does work up quickly in a way but they'd be more like gifts or something rather than a market prep friendly at least for me and maybe if I did like the the small stingrays but that is kind of what I was thinking so today I'm going to focus on some turtles and then I had also gotten some yellow and black yarn to make a bee it's jumbo yarn so I'm going to try to not make a jumbo bee and so I'm gonna go down a few hook sizes so I found a pattern and so we'll just kind of see how it goes but that's kind of going to be my next couple of projects today and tomorrow I'm going to make some turtles and maybe a bee or two and then that's it and then I feel pretty good about that and then also I was thinking I'm talking really fast because we have to head out the door but I was thinking this is more of a urban type market it's downtown like right in the heart of downtown and in this kind of cool district area so i'm thinking like i'm going to bring my crochet tops and i'm thinking maybe this is the market for that so obviously time will tell every market you never know if it's going to be busy what kind of people are going to be there that sort of thing so i'm excited and again my goal is just to make back what i paid for the booth i paid 45 dollars for this booth so and i did i don't think i said um i did hear back from the organizer person and she was like just pick any category doesn't matter she's like we're excited to have you so uh that just made me feel better so that just made me feel better um knowing that like you know it didn't matter the category that i picked Can you say hi Bye. oh hi yeah so that's the update for now it is thursday and i need to get ready to head out to the head out to the door to the doctor it's just like a checkup like it's all all good stuff. So yeah, hopefully today the goal is to get lots of turtles done and that's it. Okay, time to go. Okay, so it is a little bit later and the same day, obviously, still Thursday, but I just kind of wanted to show you just real quickly. This is the stingray that I made last night and I think they're really cute. They're really fun. I ended up going up a hook size and I regret it, but it's, it's fine. You can kind of see uh, my tension is definitely a little bit more loose but either way I am enjoying it I've also realized a lot of the yarn that I purchased the other day was the sweet snuggle slide from Michaels like the loops and thread and I realized I don't like that yarn I realized I really like Bernat baby blanket but I just I am not liking the sweet snuggles from Michaels it definitely is it sheds a lot and it's just not the most fun to work with so I think going forward any future yarn that I purchase, I'm still going to use the yarn that I purchased, of course. Like, I can work through it. Um, but future yarn, I'm going to get, like, Bernat Baby Blanket. Maybe, eventually, maybe try Premier. Um, the Parfait Chunky, I think that's a pretty popular one that people use. I've never tried it. So, I might do that. But, um, anyways. So, I just wanted to kind of briefly show what I worked on last night. So, I did the Stingray and then a Chunky Mushroom Boy. Um, so, I have, I think, five of these. And I might just end there. I don't know if I'll make more. Um, I think they're really cute. So I don't know, if, you know, how well they're going to sell. And again, this is the first time at this market. So who knows the, you know, people that come, if it's going to be busy, not busy. I don't know if there'll be kids. I mean, not that kids have to buy this, but pretty much all the sales for my last market were for children. So um, anyways, so there's that. And then when we came home from the doctor, I did go ahead and finish up the turtle that I had started this morning. So this is the Bernat Baby Blanket, and then this is the Sweet Snuggles. So I did go ahead and make this turtle, and then using that Bernat Baby Blanket, I went ahead and did four legs or fins for the next turtle. So I'm gonna make the body this color, and then the shell I'm going to do, um, it's kind of like this reddish brick, kind of red sort of color. So I'm gonna do that for the shell, but. I'm honestly, I am so tired. So I'm going to take a little nap. Ava's down for her nap. She probably will be sleeping hopefully another 30 minutes or even longer. So I'm going to take a little power nap. I went ahead and thought, okay, I'm going to finish up the turtle, make these four legs, take a little nap, and then maybe even try to crochet while she's awake this afternoon. Maybe not. We'll just kind of see how it goes. And then tonight, make another, finish up this turtle, maybe even make another turtle. And then I do want to make at least one or two bees I think that would be fun and then maybe like a couple more turtles tomorrow and then 
call it there and I think that's I think that'll be good so I still have a couple turtles left over but I just kind of wanted to do some different ones I realized the ones that had pattern the yarn that are patterned like the turtles or anything else those sell quickly rather than plain yarn so that's just something that I'm keeping an eye on so I'm trying to do a good mix of like plain and and multicolor so I'm going to go put these in the box that they are not fitting in anymore because I am getting a lot of stuff done so uh, it's exciting yeah and then I also ordered from Amazon I ordered like this kind of tiered riser shelf to display like my chickens whales and maybe like maybe the chunky mushroom boys uh, maybe I'll put all those on there because those are going to be the same price and then my octos will be uh, a less price and we will keep those separate but anyways so I ordered that that's coming tomorrow so that will be exciting I'm just going to kind of keep the same display as I had done last time and just make it work I'm you know I did kind of spend a lot um, for the last market kind of prepping for everything getting stuff that I needed so I don't want to spend a lot for this market so I did buy this riser it was like $20 I think maybe 23 and that's pretty much all that I purchased um, eventually I do want to get a bigger table because my table I think is like a four foot table it's really tiny so I'd love to get just a big table um, but yeah we'll see we'll see how this market goes this weekend so I'm still having a lot of fun but for right now I am going to go take a nap I think I was talking really loud and kind of woke Ava up but she went back to sleep. Okay, I'm going to go take a nap and then we'll hopefully get some more turtles and more items made today and tomorrow. So I'll probably check in tomorrow as well and then take you along on Friday or at least show clips and then do kind of a recap of how, not Friday, Saturday, how Saturday's market went. Yeah, I'll have to let you know, but I am excited. But for right now, I need to take a nap. Okay, it's Friday now, Friday afternoon, and it is... 12 25 so Ava is down for her nap of course that's usually when I film is when she's sleeping so I don't remember what I've shown you last but the past like couple of days I just have kind of been crocheted out not in a way of like not wanting to crochet because I feel like I always want to crochet your knit like that's not what it is it's more so just like I'm kind of done market prepping I don't know so I'm really hoping I'm really hoping that I have enough I know that I do I know that I have more than enough because if I did sell out of all this stuff, like that's a lot. And again, I'm still kind of gauging what sells, what people are gearing towards. And because tomorrow's market is a completely different vibe. It's an outdoor sidewalk market. Like we can't have our canopies or tents or anything. It's just a table on a sidewalk downtown. So who knows the kind of people, the foot traffic this will bring. It is Easter weekend. So it either may or may not be busy depending on um, I know that we are near some churches, so who knows how the market will go tomorrow. So I think that will also kind of determine, and again, I'm just doing this like for fun in a way, you know, obviously it's fun to make money, of course, and getting rewarded for your hard work. Like that's always, that's always a plus. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just having fun. So I just kind of felt like I had enough and I just didn't want to like keep cranking out. Like I had a whole list of like, okay, make six turtles, make five mushy boys, make, you know, all these kind of things where it's like no I'll just make what I can and um, I'm happy with that so um, I made this turtle I finished this up actually I made it this morning um, so I made a turtle this morning I made these two turtles as well and I don't remember if I showed you these or not I might have I might have shown you this one um, so I have this turtle here and I have this turtle here and then I think the last thing I didn't show you was <gasps> A jumbo bee <laughs> this was a fun project to make I made this last night I made it with uh, sweet snuggles uh, the jumbo size and I just found a jumbo pattern for free on Pinterest and so I made this in like maybe an hour and a half like probably about an hour and a half the wings I was not paying any attention and I had sewn them on like <laughs> the side I was not I had not like measured or like centered them between the eyes and so I had made them like on the side so I had to take it out and and uh re-sew it so that is what actually took the longest but yeah so I ended up making a jumbo sized bee last night because last night I had finished up a turtle I had started from the afternoon and I was sitting down and I was like I really just want to crochet like for fun so I started a couple of different projects like I found a pattern for a triceratops so I started that just wasn't feeling it I had this really cute cow pattern for like a Kindle cover. Started making it, wasn't really feeling that, but I think a Kindle cover would still be cute. 
And then I was like, oh, I have yarn for a jumbo bee. And so I made it and I think it's really cute. So yeah, I am gonna put this out at the market tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna have my jumbo bee and my jumbo turtle and we'll see how that does. But so for right now, what I need to do, I have all this stuff here. I need to kind of basically do inventory uh, just kind of counting everything that I have here are like my scrunchies bandanas and my tops and then um, Everything that I've made. I'm just gonna kind of write down a little bit more detail like how many chickens what color of chickens like that sort of thing I think that um, would be helpful to have and then hopefully I will also tomorrow be able to write down what sold if anything sold of course I would love for something to sell like i had said earlier my goal is to make back what i paid for the table and i paid 45 for the table so my goal is to make back 45 dollars so what i'm going to do is get out my notebook keep it pretty easy on me i'm just going to write down everything that's going to be my inventory tallying maybe eventually if i do this more if it's something that i'm actually going to continue doing i will create more of a streamlined business-like sort of structure but for right now I'm just kind of keeping it pretty chill and low-key and just kind of just having fun with it okay that's what I'm going to do but right now I had made some enchiladas for lunch so those are done kitchen is clean um Ava will probably be sleeping she's been sleeping for an hour so maybe 30 minutes or more we'll see how long her nap is today I got a like mocha cappuccino thingy one of those bolt house things it's got some protein in it so that's awesome so i'm working on this and i'm gonna do my inventory i also need i think i'm gonna change my prices or just kind of like restructure it to try to make tomorrow a little bit more simpler since my table is small and i won't have a canopy i just kind of want it to look cute and simple and so i have all my chalkboard signs that i'm going to uh, just kind of maybe change the prices for my chickens. I had done ten dollars um, and I had sold out of all of them at my last market. I think I had one chicken left, so I'm thinking like everyone sells them for fifteen. So I might up the price to fifteen. The only thing is my white chickens are much smaller, and then these are a lot bigger. So I don't know if that's going to deter price wise. So again, we'll just kind of see. Or maybe the white chickens could be ten. And the colored chickens would be 15 but then it's also like i don't know i i don't know if i should do 10 or 15. everyone does 15. when i had done 10 i sold out of them so maybe tomorrow i'll put 15 see if they sell at that price if not maybe go back to 10 or just i don't know time will tell i think the whales would also be 15 then since they're about the same price take about the same time and then my octos would be 10. maybe that's kind of what i'm thinking so i need to kind of create these signs, make them all kind of organized, get everything situated. We have to leave the house by seven. Um, Check-in is at eight and the thing starts at nine. So um, it won't take me that long to set up, but we have to be there at eight. So, you know, to have breakfast and get Ava out the door and me and my husband and everything like that. So tomorrow will be a, a earlier morning for sure, getting out the door. And then um, we'll probably pack up tonight. It's also Easter weekend, like I said, so tonight there's a kind of Easter egg sort of Easter bunny event thing at the rec center. So we are going to hopefully do that if my husband gets home in time. Just because Ava does go to bed early, but we'll try to maybe keep her up a little bit um, for this event. Which will probably make tomorrow morning tricky, but I already have breakfast planned out for tomorrow. So it should be pretty simple. So I'm excited. This is fun. I love having a goal and doing stuff and I've been like rambling. So I really need to get inventory, get the signs ready, get everything kind of organized and packed and get ready to put in the car. It's market day. I'm really excited. We're up early. We are all done with breakfast. Eva's actually still working through her breakfast, but I just wanted to pop on and say hello. I'm going to take you hopefully throughout the day and kind of hopefully take some clips of my setup and the market and everything like that. So I'm super excited, but I just wanted to just Say hi real quick. It's Saturday morning and we are zooming to head out the door. Last night my husband loaded up the car so everything is all ready. We are all good to go. So now we're just kind of waiting for this one to finish up her breakfast. I kind of need to clean up from breakfast and just kind of last minute things and then we're going to head out. And I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous but I'm, I'm excited. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it goes well. Even if it doesn't, it's still a good experience and it's still fun. My coffee just finished warming up, so I'm gonna go finish drinking that.
videos and I just wanted to kind of sit down and just do just a little bit of a recap. The market today was not bad, honestly. We ended up having some pretty bad wind and that's very unusual for where we live, like very, very. And so that definitely caused a lot of wind blowing. So I definitely had to kind of change up my table. I had to put all of my scrunchies. I just kind of took them all off, but honestly, no one bought any scrunchies. And so that's kind of something that I don't know that I will continue to make. I haven't actually made any, but yeah, so no one bought any scrunchies. Yeah, I definitely kind of had to set up the table a little bit differently. The wind kept blowing down my little signs. So those kind of, I just kind of did what I could with what I had. The people that had tents, a lot of people didn't bring weights for their tents. So those were falling down. I actually didn't even bring a tent at all. So when I had signed up, they had said it was just a table, like no tents or umbrellas or like those you had to pay extra for. So I didn't have a tent or shade and it was pure sun. I live in Phoenix, so pure sun for six hours. So I definitely got very burnt. I did not put any sunscreen on. So definitely my bad. I didn't have a tent to deal with with the wind, but I definitely had the sun. I definitely heard some glass shattering throughout. So it was just, that was difficult. And then the amount of people I thought was fair. I heard that it was very slow and several people around me didn't have any sales throughout the day so that was kind of a bummer for them yeah everyone just kept saying it's kind of a slower market and every market you just never never know so i thought it was fair i like i said it was downtown and so i didn't know the type of people that would come so mostly they were all just kind of young young professionals kind of who you would imagine to live in a downtown city so not as many kids there were a few kids and so kids i feel like are kind of my prime target audience um but i had a lot of like older high schoolers or college age people buy a lot of stuff so overall my total sales were 287 dollars and so i feel pretty good about that so like i had said earlier my goal was just to make back what i paid for the table and i paid 45 dollars for this table so i feel like that was really good and with everyone saying that it was slow, I feel like, I feel pretty good with what I made. Um, the girl beside me was selling jewelry. I know she made bank. She was very popular today and good for her. It was her very first market. So I'm glad that she had a great first market success. And so uh, I feel like there was definitely enough business, but everyone was saying it's just very slow. And because we were on the sidewalk, people were just kind of like rushing it back and forth. They weren't the type that were there specifically for this. They were out walking and kind of just like stumbled upon all of us. It was definitely a different vibe. But all in all, I thought it was, I thought it was, I, I thought it was good. So I got there at 9 a.m. and it ended at 3. And the last market I had done, it got, it started at 11 and ended at 3. I made, at the last market, I made 207. And this market, I made 287. And I was there two extra hours today. So I think, so all said and done, we decided kind of just for my family, it made more sense to not do the downtown one going forward unless things change. Just because it is a longer bit of a drive for us. The highway was closed, so it definitely added more driving. And it was just a little bit on just more stress, like on all of us and my husband and our daughter. It was a longer day. So I think the market that's closer to us, that's only a four hour market. I think that's gonna probably be where I go. It's every like other Sunday and it's only, honestly, I think till the end of April. So I think I really only have two more left for that. There might be a few indoor markets or night markets around that maybe I'll do. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do this particular market again, only for my own personal reasons of it being a little bit more stressful on my family than the other one but like like money wise i feel like i feel pretty happy with what i made today all in all i have a whole list of everything that sold for the most part and that list i can't find it i know that it is in a tub and my husband already put the tubs all away and so i'm not going to get it down and go through it but basically i sold a lot of turtles the chickens were, I sold a few chickens for sure. And so I feel like pricing them at 15 was pretty fair. And that did well for me. Um, I sold a couple of whales, maybe two or three, maybe three whales. I also priced those at 15. Um, I did sell my silly goose. I priced that at 20 and I did sell that pretty early on. Um, I was getting a lot of interest. Everyone was like, oh my goodness, the silly goose, it's so cute. 
and eventually this little girl came and she did buy it. She was so excited. I sold maybe two or three mushy boys. I sold a couple bandanas and then I sold my last duck. I had one left and I brought it and it sold. That was my first sale was the duck. So I think I will be making more ducks for future markets. So I think that's all that sold turtles, chickens, whales. I did sell a couple octos, so I'm excited about that. Just my last market, I think I sold one. This market, I might have sold three. And those are priced at $10 because they are quite big. But I think I need to have more like $5 items. My $5 items were my scrunchies and no one was really wanting my scrunchies. Last market, I did sell a couple of scrunchies but this market i didn't have any i might have had like one or two people even look at them a lot of people were looking at my tops but those did not sell the stingray bumblebee the jumbo turtle like all those got so much attention no one bought those i'm trying to think of anything else i wish i had my list yeah all in all i feel pretty pleased i feel very happy again this was a last minute market and considering how everyone was saying it's very slow i feel pretty good with what i made i feel very happy yeah i'm excited i still feel like i have quite a bit of inventory for the next market my next market is going to be in a week from tomorrow so i have so i have two more in april that i am going to try to do so um that's going to be my next kind of market that I'm going to do. So yeah, I feel like I feel pretty good with what I have for the next market. I'm definitely gonna be making some more turtles. I think I sold, I have like two or three turtles left. So I sold like three or four. One, one girl bought two turtles. Someone bought another turtle. When I say I sold four turtles, it could have been three or four, but either way, those usually do pretty well for me. So I'm definitely going to be making more of those. Yeah, I'll be making more turtles, ducks. I feel like I have quite a few chickens still. Maybe a couple more octos, we'll see. I feel like that might be, might be it. So I'm definitely feeling good with the market today. I feel like it was a success. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was definitely a, a longer day. I could definitely feel it today. I was like, I didn't have a long day, so. I feel like it's a long day for my family and so um yeah i don't know if this is one that i will be doing again my husband is like you definitely should like if you want to but it just seemed more stressed than was worth it not that it was stressful but it just it was a whole day event whereas the other one didn't feel like it was an all-day event so, yeah i don't know i don't know future if i will do this market again but i feel like everyone was so nice about it all the vendors were awesome the coordinator was super awesome so i just feel like it was a good event for sure i just don't know if it's the right event for my family so that's all that it is i think it's a great a great market great event and so i am very excited i am glad and happy with how today went it's definitely a long day so i am very tired i put ava down to bed i'm gonna go eat dinner do some dishes tidy up a little bit and then i might call it honestly i'm pretty tired tomorrow is easter we're going to church and that's kind of the only plan that we have for tomorrow so so i hope that you all had a wonderful easter weekend if you got to this far of this video thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed i took you along with me all throughout this week of everything that i was crocheting and then i took you through this last minute market yeah i hope that you enjoyed watching this and i will talk to you soon bye